This is the new Charizard EX Premium Collection Box. And uh, unfortunately, a lot of people seem to be pretty split on it. And I'm not entirely sure why that is. So today, we're going to find out. And of course, because we also want to try and pull some special illustration rares, I picked up two of them. And I also want to let you guys know that I am going to be giving away both of the promo cards, the uh, the sleeves, the card holder, the Charmander, and the Charmeleon are going to be going out to two lucky winners here in the fan gang. All you have to do is smash that like button, be subscribed here on the channel, and let me know down below which Pokemon you think should be getting some of the spotlight here that Charizard seems to be taking up in all of these new products. Because we keep it positive, but we also keep it real. Oh, and if you're new to the channel, my name is Pokefang, and welcome to the fan gang. Here we go, our Charizard EX premium, premium collection boxes. It is a premium collection. It does come with a lot of different stuff. It's not just a regular V or VMAX box that we've seen in the past. Uh, it almost is kind of like an ETB to be honest, it's like a special Charizard ETB. It's got its own promo card, uh, but then there's only six packs. So this is retailing for, I think about $40. Uh, so if this had two more packs in it, that would be actually kind of cool because it would be like a Charizard specific elite trainer box essentially. But let's go ahead and open this thing up. I do think that there's like glitter or something on it. So hopefully it doesn't get everywhere. But I might fast forward through this part. There we go. Step one, get rid of the paper. And then now we have our promos, which are usually snapped into here. So let's see if we can get these out. Obviously, code cards are going out to the fan gang all throughout the video, as always, when we do openings. So here we go. We have our Charmeleon. This just happens to be the one that I grabbed first. Just a regular hollow. Uh, looks like it's from Obsidian Flames. Obviously, this isn't a hollow in Obsidian Flames, but this is a hollow version of a card from Obsidian Flames. But this is just a regular uncommon. It would have been nicer if it had that Cosmos hollow pattern on there. Code card, like I said, going out to the fan gang. Go ahead and grab that. Let me know in the comments if you're able to redeem it. Uh, I do love to see you guys being able to redeem these. And then we have our Charmander artwork from Obsidian Flames, which is a common, but in the hollow forms. So that, like I said, that does make them a little bit unique. Uh, but the main reason I think they made this product is to get people these Charizard EXs. And I think we're going to be getting this exact same Charizard in the new shiny set that's coming out. I can't think of what it's called. Shining Treasures, maybe. Uh, that will be coming out. That'll be a special holiday set. And I do think that we already saw it's either this Charizard or a different one. Let's go ahead and set that aside. Obviously, like I said, those are going out to the fan gang. So make sure you enter the giveaway instructions. We're in the beginning of the video. We have, uh, I guess this is like a display case. This is part of me, guys. I know this product came out like a week ago, but this is my first time getting hands on it. So let's do a little bit of a deep dive just in this first box here. But it looks like this uh, will go fit right into there. If you actually want it to go this way, there we go. Yeah, so you actually want it to go this way. So where it says Pokemon trading card game in the front. So let's go ahead and slap our Charizard. What? That's weird. Let me finish that sentence. Slap our Charizard into this uh, magnetic case right here. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. That actually looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. Honestly, the, the build quality of it is pretty decent. Um, it does actually go in there pretty secure. Like it's not going anywhere. So this is a nice little display, honestly, especially if you're going to keep this card in it. I wouldn't put anything too valuable in here because uh, without a sleeve on it, it could get damaged. For this to be like what comes free in one of these boxes, especially if these pr the price of these boxes drops in the future, which I actually anticipate that it will probably drop. All right, and then we have our regular uh, card sleeves here. Looks like these are still those regular matte finish that we get in like our Elite Trainer boxes, but this one just has a special uh, Charizard artwork on it. But all of these items right here are actually gonna be going out as part of the giveaway. And there will be two winners, like I said, guys. So the same contents from the other box are gonna be going out to somebody else. So let's go ahead and open up the packs of our first box here. So we've got, what are we opening? Obsidian Flames. Wow, how crazy would it be to pull that same uh, Charizard right there? So let's go ahead and uh, get this code card out to the Fang Gang. There you go. We're gonna guess uh, Darkness Energy. Water, okay, not bad. We're going Paldea Whooper, Baltoy, Carvana, Lechonk, Whizcash, Floatzel. Let's see, we got our Claude Sire. Oh, there we go. Now we're talking the jerky uh, Pidgey artwork right there and a Togekiss Hollow. One of the cards that I actually noticed recently that I was missing still. Do we have any more Obsidian Flames in here? I want to do these by set, basically. So being that we started with Obsidian, let's just finish that off. The second Obsidian right here. Code card going out to the Fang Gang. We're going to go uh, Psychic Energy. Punchy's Energy. 
All right, let's go with one, two, three to the front. We'll do the Pokefang, Scarlet and Violet Pack trick, straight to our first reverse slot. We got the Cleffa. Ooh, okay, we're doing pretty good so far. Two for two, the Chunk and the Clay Doll. Two for two on the Charizard box so far. Let's go, uh, we got Paldea Evolved, which honestly is one of my favorite sets so far from Scarlet and Violet. Uh, I do know that this video probably won't get out in time for Paradox Rift to launch, so I do think uh, Paradox Rift will probably be out by the time this comes out, and I think by then it'll probably be my favorite set. As of right now, when I'm recording this, Paldea Evolved is my favorite set, but it'll probably be Paradox Rift. Let's see, Darkness. Fire, okay, we're getting all like the traditionals. Let's see what we got here. Oh, let's actually do the Pokefang Pack trick. One, two, three to the front. Boom. So that's actually how I found out that I had a God Pack the one day when I did the Pokefang Pack trick. Flipped it over and we had the Charmander right there just staring at us, followed by the Charmeleon and the Charizard. Second, Scarlet and Violet base set. And I know a lot of people are sitting at home right now going like, who cares about Scarlet and Violet base set? So lame, those are like $2.50 packs. There's no big deal. Darkness energy, leaf, grass energy. One, two, three, but everybody thought that about every other set, especially base sets. And now look at what base set booster boxes are going for, guys. Come on now. Just because it's it's uh, readily available right now doesn't mean that it's not worth anything. Fortress, reverse, it's Pathra, and a Skeledurge hollow. Base set struck out on those. But we do have two more Paldea Evolved, and then we're gonna get into the second box and see if we can get anything crazy. We're gonna go with uh, Psychic Energy this time. Grass again. One, two, three. Somebody recently told me to touch grass, so I guess, does that count? Snover Reverse, Magnemite, and a Skeledurge EX. I do think that there's gonna be a, a Terra form, Terrestrialized, what have you. Uh, Skeledurge EX in Paradox Rift, I think, because there was the Mewtwo and the Skeledurge decks that came out uh, in Japanese. And I thought those were supposed to be part of Paradox Rift, but I could be wrong, could be wrong, but I think that's what's gonna happen. All right, here we go. Last pack from this box. Oop, accidentally took two cards. There you go, code card going at the fan game. Of course, this is gonna be Psychic finally. No, touch more grass. All right, here we go. Pokefang pack trick, boom, into the boss's orders reverse. Not bad, not bad, playable. Hariyama reverse, followed by. All right, getting into the second box here. I'm gonna rip this bad boy open. Last chance. All right, so we got the Obsidian Flames, Aldea, boom, boom, boom. So let's do them like this this time. We'll start off with the Scarlet and Violet base set. That's what I should have done last time but I didn't, and it's okay. Code card, falling all over the place, going out to the fan gang. There's so much glitter all over me from this box, I can't even. All right, finally darkness energy. We've been chasing darkness energy for like five videos now, and we every single time end up with lightning, we get the opposite. One, two, three, to the front, almost did four, not that it would matter. King Gambit, reverse, Arbolova, and okay, I'll take it. Team Star Grunt Full Arts, or I guess Ultra Rare now, followed by the Go Goat. Shout out to Dusty Go Goat on YouTube. Man, we need to connect. It's been a minute. That's actually a really nice card. I love the way the colors pop in this one. Really saturated, and uh, honestly, it looks like it's in pretty great shape. I don't know if I had this one, to be honest. I feel like Scarlet and Violet Base came and went so fast. All right, code card going out to the fan gang. Finally. Psychic energy. All right, whatever. It, it's close enough, close enough. You remember the zap deck, right? Psychic and electric. That's close enough. One, two, three, to the front. Annihilate. Followed by the Toad Scroll. And the Spidops EX. But now we're on to the Obsidian Flames, which I'm honestly with the theme of this box being so Charizard. Uh, evolution line focused. I'm surprised that it's not four packs of Obsidian Flames and then just like two packs of Paldea or something like that. But uh, I guess they have to get rid of a lot more Scarlet and Violet still. Psychic finally. Just saying. 
One, two, three. If you guess enough times, you're gonna be right. Okay, Magnazone. Right into the Magnazone. Poppy, followed by the Scizor. All right, come on, Obsidian Flames. Let's get a Charizard to match the theme of today's video. That would be pretty cool. Code card going out to the Fang Gang. Then we have, uh, finally, Darkness Energy, obviously. Get out of here. One, two, three to the front. Seismitoad, reverse. Tad Bulb, okay. I was really hoping we'd get a, a illustration rare on that one. Followed by the Dark Ray Hollow. All right, well, not the best pulls from this one, but maybe Paldea Evolved will bring us something we need for the binder. Something we need for the binder would be good in my in my world. We got Darkness Energy finally. What did I say? Every time. Three to the front. Wingle. Primeape. And the Dedene EX Terra. Terraform. Terra, terraform just doesn't sound right to me because like terraform means like to change, like alter the earth. Like that just reminds me of like, I don't know, like Populous or uh, any of those like, like God mode type games where you're like shaping the environment with like tools. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. In our last pack for today's video. So make sure you smash that luck button. It looks like this. This is the luck button. Smash the luck button. And uh, subscribe if you haven't. Again, leave a comment down below which Pokemon deserves more spotlight that Charizard is currently stealing to be entered into to, in a little bit of today's, today's giveaway. Code card going out to the fan gang. All right. Darkness Energy has to show up eventually. It's been like five videos. Punchy's Energy. One, two, three to the front. For the last time, do we have a God Pack? No. Larvitar. Not even a special illustration rare. Quaxley and Low Kicks. All right, guys, remember to enter the giveaway by smashing that like button, subscribing on the channel, leaving a comment down below which Pokemon deserves to have the spotlight that Charizard is currently stealing. Best of luck, fan gang. Thanks for being awesome. I'll catch you in the next one. And as always, Happy haunting.